Hello there everyone and welcome back to the Red World Fan Folk mod for Hearts of Iron 4. But right now we got to talk about significant border crackdowns. Following a lengthy report published by the Secretary of the Interior, the President ordered a large-scale audit of the voter rolls, claiming that many immigrants had abused residency laws to illegally vote in the last election. The report urged the government to take action to purge the voter rolls of these fraudulent voters. And to tighten electoral laws so as to prevent any similar turn of events from coming to pass, Steve King clearly agreed. And it specified that the prunes should specifically target the cities, supposedly the homes of the most illegal voters. As bureaucrats went into action, countless residents of Milwaukee, Minneapolis, and many other cities of the Great Lakes received punitive fines from the government on the charge of fraudulently voting. <clears throat> The Democratic Alliance was furious and urged people to challenge these blatantly unconstitutional fines in the courts. Their protests seemed to fall into mostly deaf ears, however, as the president's line has caught on with the people and the media. And already voters are cheering that the administration has stepped up to protect the democratic values of the Great Lakes. <coughs> the legal challenges in these courts are expected to be swept away soon enough. I mean, they go socialist anyways, but Commonwealth Occupation Authority, let's see what we can do here with this. With the Northeast finally under our control, the time has come to decide the fate of the Northeast. We cannot possibly hope to govern them all, nor do we wish to signal to the other American states that we are now to a contender for reunification. Transitional states must be established and as a token of goodwill and to ease a burden on our administration. Well, I don't know about that. But, after ten days, the fate of the Commonwealth. <coughs> Following the occupation of the American people's Commonwealth, Many the government of the Great Lakes has called for the Commonwealth to be split up into two constituent nations. Even with their hegemony in force over the Commonwealth's west, the region of New York and Pennsylvania alone posed a large risk for position as an independent state. A proposal dividing the Commonwealth into New England and Appalachia, while the Great Lakes Republic occupies Chicago, Indiana, Ohio, and South Michigan, has been considered at all levels of government. Eventually, an order was passed directly by the President to officially end resistance in the People's Commonwealth, a new, to, a new order in the North. Oh, I don't like that. A dawn for the Great Lakes? New dawn. Our foreign policy realignment is born fruit, and now the name of the Great Lakes Confederation is on everyone's lips. If people know who we are and what we stand for, no more shall we be regarded as yet another post-American state, for we've taken up our rightful place on the world stage. Man, what? Oh, also I gave Virginia to these guys down here, but okay. Vincent Stewart. Hmm. Looks like a generic focus tree, which is fine. And New England led by Alan Keyes. Well, as long as they're nationalists. Which, you know, I don't agree with. I, we cannot we cannot be considered a contender for America? What the heck? Honestly, if that's the case, I mean, I want to reunite America. What's going on here? Uh, well, I guess we're going to start just to find them. Whatever. Um, reoccupation stuff. We obviously can't do this one because... Oh, Appalachia has to do with Philadelphia Constitution. Has... Oh. And has not completed the focus retake our territory. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Whatever. Well, alright. Well, these guys just been declared war upon. Well, I guess we're going to war very, very soon then. Um, after this one, I guess we'll do close our borders. We are surrounded every by, everywhere by those who seek to destroy us. Whether they come in the form of soldiers or so-called refugees, we shall shut them out. Our Christian Republic is a paradise amongst hex. And shall not be intruded upon. Get more daily political power. 6% more division defense. Which is all super, super nice. Hello. Well, let's go in. Well, eventually. Actually, no, we can just do this. Here we go. Don't necessarily want to call him to arms, but... Probably could if we really wanted to. Um, it looks like we're just marching in. Uh, how many divisions do they have? Up to 47? We have 32, which is not bad. Cool. It is 2015, which is a weird year for me, but, you know, that's alright. Moving through Arkansas. It's very, very nice. I don't want to deal with these, these guys to deal with them, so. India's just killing itself so harshly. There we go. Sure, why not? You guys can come on in. Get some more extraction, because he can. Why not? We have no tungsten, which sucks, but whatever. Uh, moving through Arkansas pretty nicely, honestly. Ah, uh, do you have any upgrades? Jensen? Johnson? Jensen? Whatever your name is. Thank you very much. And new down for the Great Lakes. Close your borders. The Congress passed the New Dawn Act. Today, Congress ratified the New Dawn Act, a piece of legislation seeking to normalize relations between the Great Lakes Confederation and the rest of the world for years. Uh, the Great Lakes Confederation has, like, like most other nations lying in the rem remains of the former U.S., been diplomatically and economically isolated from the rest of the world. The passing of the New Dawn Act is intended to change this, openly reaching out to, to the democracies of the world to establish positive relations. From this day forward, the Great Lakes Confederation has shared its reputation as yet another backwards 
warlord on the ruins of a dead empire. It is a consolidated democratic nation, no different from the other nations of the world and by any meaningful metric, of course. This does mean that the Great Lakes Confederation will have to play by the same rules as the rest of the world now. Words of aggression will take some real justification to maintain a new world or new status as a respectable nation on the world stage. Independence secure and recognized had to be the future. United Christians. Mr. King, a converted Roman Catholic, showed his fellow Christian Americans that they can work together to change their country for the better. Not since the election of Ronald Reagan in the waning years of the U.S. were Christians able to rally in defense of the values that make this country great. And so far, we're doing relatively a-okay. <clears throat> Not perfect, but okay. We almost have all of Arkansas under us, which is awesome. Boys, how long are you going to take? There you go. That's what we want to see. And that division died. That's what we like to see. Would you like to join us? You don't have that many divisions, but you know what? It's fine with me. We have our own faction. Yeah, the American People's Front. It's not bad. And then we're going to shift this way to Republic of Cascadia eventually. Honestly, you must have started justifying on him, I guess. Oh, wait. That's pretty bad. Hold on. Are we still justifying on you? Okay, maybe not. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Amber Crombie? Let's go with Wade. They're moving through here, but... Oh, well. How many divisions they got? Up to 35. We need more manpower. Oh, boy. So that's a description. That is fun with m -m -m me. Yeah, no point lowering our... Uh, uh, trade and stuff, so... No point yet. You should go in and just kill them off. Down in Louisiana. Very, 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 very nice. No tanks, which is a little disappointing, but whatever. There goes India. Goodbye, India. Going through Alabama, too. Very, very nice. Head on in there. You might actually be able to win pretty easily. Montgomery. Split, uh, split the south in two. Oh, made a segment there, too. Nice. Close them borders, son. Because God would want it that way. Biloxi? I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm going to assume that's how you pronounce it, but whatever. Atlanta's ours, my friends. What a wretched city. Mobile? Very nice. Oh, they're doing force defense there. Look at that. Yeah, their organization wasn't dropping at all. Yeah, this is this nation was a lot easier to take out than I really imagined. A bit ridiculous, but that's alright. Now the folk. Hay House. Why not? Houston's the capital. Which means these guys are all cut off. We don't have a navy to do anything about it, but that's alright. We've only lost 45,000. We've killed off quarter million, though. Actually, how close are they to capitulation? Only halfway. Wow. You not them Christian arenos. War on activists. Look at this. The activists are the foot soldiers of the godless communists, poisoning the minds of the people of the Great Lakes, having emerged during the Hortman era. Our rise of power has accelerated their violent action against the state. The Cotter Revolution, if not contained, will totally and irreversibly tear down whatever we're trying to build. We will crush them using whatever methods we feel are necessary. Oh, we feel a lot of things are necessary here. There you go. Port Lucy. Port Lauderdale. Nice. Love to get Houston, but we can't quite get that yet. There you go. That's good to see. Arlington. Nice. Only three research slots, which sucks, but that's all right. Florida's almost completely ours. Jeb, where are you? Where is my Jebediah? Get some more Cassia. Yeah, yeah get definitely some of this, too. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. Thank you very much. North Carolina, Virginia is left. Take out. Well, we got him. Thank you very much for playing. It's looking very gray. I like it. Alright, so we're going to come up here to get the Republic of Cascadia next because I want the PSA to suffer as much as possible first. Actually, for motorized, it's not terrible. Uh, I don't mind making you guys 40 combo with, but then again, that might be really bad, so. But after this one, after you know Christians, we'll do Remnant's Occupation Authority. The South is under our heel, and like with the Northeast, we have no desire to annex that region. Well, according to some people, a military transitional government shall be formed to ensure that a healthy democracy may yet soon take its shape in the South, as it has in the North. What type of poppycock are you talking about? I want to directly annex it. This looks great! we got to beat up the PSA, we got to beat the Mexicans, too. How strong are the Mexicans? You know, we have no idea. A lot of manpower, though. Mm, make some more civvies so we can trade some more stuff away as well. That would be a goal. 
These guys, I can't imagine these guys are really easy to beat because they have all these rocky mountains around here. And that's going to suck. Kevin Shine, Stein, not Shine. Oh, they have 19 divisions. Oh, they have no man power. That's good. Good to see that. Uh, a little more of this stuff here. Get some more cast. That'd be good. Um, can't build synthetic refiners. That sucks. You know, Christians and then Remnant's Occupation Authority. And then we'll do the War on Activists. So look, getting a little laggy in this campaign, I'd say. Definitely a little laggy. Appalachian Union. Oh, it did take DC, so. Um, how's the world looking? Commonwealth of Nations is uh, just desperately trying to hold out against Vladdy here. Oh, China joined the Commonwealth of Nations too. I didn't realize that. Li Zhangshu. Do you mean focus tree? No, you don't. That sucks. I would play them pretty soon too if they did, but. Republic of Iran, Warsaw Pact. The Warsaw Pact is very strong. Fate of the remnants. After a long struggle against the tyrannical American Republic, our nations emerged victorious. But our handsome relic of a bygone age now lies in smoldered ruins under our occupation. I'll take time to rebuild the region, of course. I need more time to establish a functioning democracy out of the ruins of the country's systematically corrupt administrative apparatus, obviously. All this work is a lot to burden on our administration with, and so establishing an interim government will be much more efficient than maintaining direct occupation for the foreseeable future. To that end, Congress has elected to place General Joseph Volchel in the name or in charge of the interim government. He will oversee the reconstruction of the South and work to build a functioning democracy in the region. Some cynics have viewed this decision as a method of ensuring an enduring puppet republic in the South. But the fact of the matter is that this new regime in the South is fully intended to eventually become an independent and free democracy as soon as it's ready. Glory to the new order. Oh, they got DC too. Look at that. They got DC. Well, lucky for them. So we got Joseph Votel here, of course, pretty much standing firm. Um, National Security Agency is not bad. Amworth, Secular America, Secular America. What the heck? And my Christian America? No, no, no. What type of poppycock is that? Now I'm just ready to kill off uh, pretty much all our enemies. Why do I have to wait so long? Modern heavy equipment. Yeah, you can do that one too, because you can. So the oh, oh, so we just annexed Texas. We still have Texas. Okay, well, it could be worse. We get all that fuel and aluminum. Very nice. I get it that why I, I understand why you just can't like directly annex them to a degree, but it'll be so much more fun. New England, Appalachia. If anything, the Appalachian Union. Uh, I'm not really sure if this should be is this not really considered Appalachia. This would be part of New England. This would be part of New England. But most of Pennsylvania would be. African Freedom Pact created. Well, good luck with that. Africans. You're, gonna, you're seriously going to need it. What's this? Research center, more research capabilities, hospitals. Yeah, I'll throw one in there, why not? We'll put it in Iowa. Iowa. Ah, 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 Iowa. Fighters. Nice. Any more cats? Naval stuff. Got some drones. So after a war on activists, what are we going to do after that? Bring back the base? Not quite. Nothing there on the left side we can do. Reverse socialist humiliation. Look at that. The socialists have already taken countless nations, shattered and broken them, enslaving their people for a truly malicious ideology. We must do whatever we can to protect our people, our land, and our faith from falling to the same fate. And to do this, we must expand the power of our state. Absolutely. Ah, that's not too bad. We have only like less, a little more than two months. That's not bad, actually. Nice. More factory output. Agreeable population factor. Very good. Followed up with what? So that, that's literally everything done here. Literally everything done here. Literally everything done here. So we've done with the focus tree already. Wow. Um, I don't know. I wish we could reclaim America. Like all of America. Not just bits and snippets, but all of it. America for you, my. You and me, you and me. If we made these guys 40 combat with, that might be a bit extreme. But we make them 20 combat with. We get some logistics. Cavalry recon, we got it. We got the funds for it. Why not? Reverse social humiliation. Pretty much, man, pretty much. How are we doing here? Doing okay? Get some more rubber. We need lots and lots of planes. So you guys are pretty much good to go. We'll go to war as fast as we can. And then as soon as that happens, we'll probably go to war with Mexico first, and then to kill off the PSA.
Because as long as they're killing each other, that's great. It's not bad for them. Um, just because this, it'll be easy to take out the PSA compared to Mexico, probably at least comparative wise. Comparing wise, all for future for the future war, Mexican economy, social liberalism, rearm populace. Oh, well, we'll see. Must become a spy master. And we got about a week left. So they got a mixed economy, a centralized republic, a little more division organization, encourage immigration, UBI, and importing foreign economics. Economists, I should say. Economists. Alright. Alright. Not bad. Hope you guys are having a pretty good day. I'm doing okay myself. There we go. So then we're going to go to war with Mexico. Oh my gosh, 160 days is such a long time. That's right though. Should be able to win pretty, pretty easily, honestly, until we hit the mountains. Thirty-four thousand already died. Holy crap! Holy crap! Mostly to the Midwest, but that's all right. How much manpower do you have left? They have a ship. They have a light cruiser. They have none. Yay! So yeah, that's it for the focus street. All right, so we don't need more political power. Construction engineering suppress our jokes. Why not? Well, love suppression here. A little, a little bit of suppression never hurt anybody. Keep making them civvies, though. Manage subjects. Keep it going down. Keep it going down. How are we doing here? How many have lost? 92,000? 90, 90, not bad. And how close are we? We're not that close. I just want to keep an eye on how close we are, though. Yeah, that's going to take a while. Which is fine, as long as the PSA doesn't collapse too fast. Oh yeah, drop them, drop them, drop them. Central USA. Keep going all the way in if you can. Keep on trucking. Four divisions, there's quite a bit. Idaho Falls. Nice. Keep going, keep going, keep going. We're not lacking anything. Even main battle tanks, I'm probably not going to get rid of. UCAV. Honestly, we don't need it. We really don't need it. I thought that was just enemies, but that's us. Okay, cool. Nice, cut them off. Or do your best in terms of trying to cut them off. Let time go on. Do we need very much else? I want more cast. I love cast. I've got a problem. You mean a lot of cast? Yes, please. They're doing force defense. No, they're not. Okay. Go straight for the coast and just go straight up the coast. Like that. Cool. Nice. Yay, come off. 128,000 have died. That's not all. There's only four, two to four divisions left. That's why we're on a lot of motorized. We've taken Seattle, and then go to Tacoma, then go to Vancouver, and then Yuk Yakima. Why not? And start learning about Mexican. We won't have any border issues with Mexico. There is no border with Mexico. Seattle, please. Thank you. Up oh, and we got him. I can't take it down. Just a little bit of the Aryan Republic, right? That's why we went to war. Nice. Let time go on, and while they're distracted, Mexico is trying to poke itself into them others. Uh, we'll do the best we can here. I'll get some more fighters. That'll be good. Love them fighters. Alright, so we need way less of this, which is good, good, good to see. So we can get some more rubber. Keep making cities so we can trade them away. Beautiful. And when we're done with that, we're going to build up a lot more too, so it's fine. Gotta make America great again. With a king. Every man a king? Not really. Every president of our nation a king. So what about this here Mexican armed forces? What do we know about them? Nothing. Okay, that's not good. They got a couple of civvies or millies or you know factories just like us. So the industry is about the same as us. Quite a bit more manpower. Uh, we know nothing else though. That sucks. Cool. Seven hundred. 
add national campaign. There's nothing there just yet. How is uh, subjects doing? No, oh, they're definitely getting lower and lower and lower. If anything, Guatemala declare one Belize. I'll just give Appalachia. Uh, start London East, maybe? 440, 45. Up now a little bit. Uh, here's a thousand things of this. Ain't worth very much. We tried though. Now port observer's nice. Cool. Yeah, ain't too bad. I'll uh, train again if you have to. It's fine with us. Yeah, it looks like they're not going to be easy to beat because they have quite a few soldiers here, and they're they're still pushing in. They take they've only taken San Diego. Hmm. A little concerning. Well, they can go to war economy as well. But they do own parts of Texas, which is absolutely unacceptable. And we've got about a couple more days, months, until we well, go to war everybody. With now we're at war with the Mexicans. Uh, why the heck would I invite the Pacific States of America to our faction? Uh, we got goals for them. We've got big goals for them after we're done here. And a lot of goals that include a lot of gassing, uh, gassing enemies. Yeah, no thanks, Kamala Harris. Not today. Overall, look at that army. Doesn't look too bad for us to take out. Uh, oh, come on. We can't. Is this glitched? Ugh, I want to see the casualties. Uh, just going to drive around here. If you can make it in circuit, that'd be great. Texas will be ours again. It fully is right now. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Nope. I should got logistics. Cool. We don't need that anymore. Just to get a lot more rubber. And we have one of our agents captured by the Mexican forces, but whatever. Don't think anyone really cares at this point. Darn, you can't get in there fast enough. Yeah, this is a lot easier than I thought it would be. Of course, then again, I would like to see how close we are to capitulating them. Obviously, we're not that close, but it's still. I don't have upgrades. 90% towards becoming a trickster. 94% towards becoming a commando. Yeah, not too, not too close to anything else, though. These guys have not been cut off. They still have ports and stuff, but still. PSA. Golden Gate League. It's a tiny, tiny navy. About a million manpower over there. Not bad for them. Start infiltrating these guys. Don't think we can prepare a collaboration government here fast enough. 117 days. I mean, we could try it. Not exactly winning a whole bunch down here, but air-wise... Doing okay. Doing all right. Don't do that. Research center. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the research center actually does. Is it like help us to give like a small tiny research boost or something? Or I have no idea. Oh, got the cipher done for them. Nice. I do the cipher for that group. That's pretty bad of me. Can we see anything about Mexico still? Centrists? 39 divisions max. They have a few guns left. They have no artillery left. It's good to see that. This template, not really sure yet. Plenty of fuel. Uh, literally 100 less factories than us. Mexico City is now frontline city, which is awesome. Coming to Guadalajara, that'd be good. Slowly pushing up through here. Hermesio? They got quite a few divisions up here. Phoenix? Yeah, nice. Very nice. Mozambique is gone, but then again, I'm not really too concerned about Mozambique for this campaign. Just saying. Maybe the next one, but not right now. Mexico City, thank you very much. I don't really need that one. I prefer more rubber. And we wanted to get some more. Oh, we got Mexico. Nice. I could be nice with the PSA, but I don't really feel like it. Um. Yeah, nah. Not feeling generous with Kamala Harris here. And you know what? She probably won't feel very generous to me, except unless she wants to give me a jail sentence. So, there you go. Very nice. Um, try to do the entire front line. Be pretty. That weakened us quite a bit, though. 
More fighters, maybe? More rubber? Cool. Yeah, definitely gonna need way more divisions now. Which is fine. Do we have enough? Yeah, oh yeah, we have more than enough. That's good. Cool, cool, cool. Put one right there. One right there ish. Any extra planes? Oh, yes. 100 right there. Nice. Let's see what we have. Fighters. Cast fighters. Uh, go there. One, two, three, four. Nice. I should guarantee that we should do okay against these guys. Oh, did I? Do we get the justification done yet? No, we don't. Okay, that's good. We have a, literally about 40 days left. That's really nice, actually. Alliance for Superior. Nice. Oh, slowly going up every day, huh? Need more cast fighters. Carry naval bombers. Probably don't honestly need that. Uh, carry fighters. Honestly, probably don't need that either. Light tanks are fine. Main battle tanks, we're not going to use those for now. Drones, keep them for now. It's fine as well. Yeah, we're going to just need more divisions. Air Force Department's very good. Cool. Utah. 2016 Summer Olympics. Very nice. What do we know about this group? So, they've been built million manpower-ish. 34 divisions, kind of like us. Air Force is 1,000 people in the Air Force. Not bad. Stockpile, not sure yet. We'll get there in just a little bit, though. And war economy would be good, but that's alright. Alright, so what do we have here? We get a lower resistance. About 10%, 12-ish percent -ish in Mexico, former Mexico. Compliance needs to get a little higher, but whatever. More millies. More cast. Just grind up the enemies. When in doubt, chew them up and spit them out, man. But yeah, that's a focus tree. I wish it was a little more, like I said before, but it's alright. Do they have enough divisions? Co no, they don't have enough divisions to cover their entire border. Kind of like us, but at least we have the Midwest Union. And I guess the Southern Military Command and Appalachian Union and New England, but still. Uh, there we go. Cool. Ban uh, automated mining. So we're working on that stuff, get some more artillery. That'd be nice. I love that soft attack. Well, Kamala Harris, you've had it too good for too long. Actually, what do they have there? Ooh, they have no guns and artillery. Oh, this should be relatively nice to do. All right, not bad. A lot of green, which you like green. Now we got some reds. That sucks. Who's... Sure, Panama. Why not? 2.6 is not bad. Could be better, of course, but whatever. Losses, we can't tell. God dang it. One of the rare campaigns where I didn't use 40 combo with divisions of any sort. Of any consequence. I love that San Diego, though. There we go. Crush them. Nice. Well, we got Phoenix, Arizona. That's very good, actually. You like Havasu? Yuma? Nice. I think this is the valley area down here in Cal or up here in California, I should say. Good. Hey, beautiful. Yeah, this is very easy. This is a lot easier than I thought. I thought this campaign was going to be a challenge. I'm like, do I really want to play this campaign? It sounds like a challenge to me. I'm like, I don't really want to be challenged too much, but this ain't bad. This really ain't bad. Almost all of Utah's under us. Almost all, uh, half of Nevada's under us as well. Half of California's almost under us too. Gotta love it. Especially as we're bombing the crap out of their navy. Oh boy, I wish we could, I just wish we could see how many divisions we've killed off. Nice, beautiful. Any upgrades please? No upgrades, all oh, that sucks. I guess just walk into LA maybe? Keep bombing the carriers. Jane Kimball? Yeah, just literally walking into LA. Nice. 
You can just walk into San Francisco too. There we go. Going to Fresno. What's the capital now? Do they have a capital? Hawaii? Hawaii still exists. Oh, no, we got him. That was really easy. That was really easy. And that's why we took out the Mexicans first. But I guess that's going to be it for us. We're looking pretty darn good. American People's Front and then a nice Confederate gray to boot for a faction. But hey, I guess that's going to be it. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. We just made some tanks. Let me know how what you thought of the Steve King Path for Hearts of Iron 4. And of course, Red Flood Fan Fork, even though we didn't get Hawaii or Alaska. But maybe for another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, 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 great rest of your day.